Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. And it seems all is not well in the Conservative Party. We're talking about the whole of it because it seems that the Shadow Secretary, uh, Shadow Scottish Secretary, John Lamont, has been briefing against Meghan Gallagher. Uh, there's been phone calls, there's been sort of whispers behind scenes. Uh, there's been reports leaked that she was quitting the race. And indeed, I actually reported that she was quitting the race based on reports coming out that she was quitting the race. But it appears she's not. And that these rumours of her quitting were allegedly put forward by John Lamont. She is now making formal complaints to the Conservative Party, saying that he's briefing against her and that he threatened her entire political career, effectively insinuating that if she doesn't toe the line, he would ensure that she wasn't selected at the next uh, sort of selection meeting, um, you know, in her constituency. Now, there have been musings about splitting the Scottish Tories from the main Tory party. And I think things like this are almost certainly destined to uh, fulfil that prophecy. Certainly a couple of them that are front runners seem to think it would be a good idea. Maintain control, take control themselves separate from, although alongside with, the main Tory party. And I think that if someone like John Lamont is briefing against uh, Meghan Gallagher and is interfering in the leadership campaign, then absolutely and certainly um, they need to split. But also John Lamont needs fully investigating. Um, it's one of those things we probably won't know the result of this for quite some time. Um, but it's not above and beyond the realm of possibility that there is chicanery in uh, contests within the Conservative Party. And all I'm going to say is now on that subject is more on that later. Keep an eye out, hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We've got another story coming up about sort of internecine fighting within the Tories. Um, but uh, I'm going to do the full story on that one later. Anyway, yes, I'm totally with Megan. I do believe that she's been subjected to a whispering campaign and that it does need to stop. I don't think she's got any chance at all of winning not this time, maybe next time, uh, but not at all if uh, they're threatening her, even, you know, her very existence as a politician. Anyway, thanks very much. Take care. Speak soon. Bye.